So here's my final book for uh, this semester's project. Um, I did get it printed at Walgreens. Uh, unfortunately, Blurb needed a week and a half with the fastest shipping, so had to settle for Walgreens to get it uh, printed uh, within the time frame. <clears throat> Do have the title on here, uh, Roy G. Biv. On the inside, I did leave a little uh, statement here. Sit back and enjoy the finer details. And then we start to go into uh, the photos. This is a lay flat book. However, I'm not too impressed with their lay flat edges here. And they did have some ink quality problems when I printed with them. It looks like they kind of ran out of ink throughout the book. They were also limited. The whole page was supposed to be black um, and their printer left a thin white edge, which was not in the original file and there's nothing that they could have done about it. So I was a little disappointed with the way that turned out. This photo here is probably one of my favorites. I really like the texture and the detail and then the blurriness and abstraction into the black. This is another one of my favorites. I really like the colors and how it fades to black and you just kind of like lose track of where the photo kind of starts and stops. It would have been more effective once again, their printer didn't run out of black ink when it was printing this and the, the black would have been a little more consistent through the edge of the page, but I still like this photo. And then I did leave on the last page my source photos of uh, the macro images that you saw. I, I really like to leave these in there, even though they're they're not abstract like the rest of the book. I just felt like this was kind of the puzzle game that you can kind of, you know, makes you want to flip back and try to figure out where these photos came from. You know, getting the viewer to look at them multiple times and try to figure out what elements that they were seeing in the previous photos, kind of like a puzzle. Um, I kind of thought that, and I got good feedback on that from my peers. So I decided to leave these last images in there just to kind of uh, tie it all in and bring it back together. So that is the end of my book.